There is a care good. I wouldn't go with uh, smokes in my hand and go first like this. They are playing. They are playing eco, so uh, it might be. It might. They might do some weird shit. I know that they went TP. There already was one guy waiting for you in TP. But there is an option that can even be in bathroom or something like this because they they will not play like a default round. So then I would not rush so uh, rush with uh, with this uh, you know stuff for smokes in my hand when I'm going first because you might be an easy target. Especially that if they are playing this eco, they will not have any anything for like a long range fights. Yeah, so they might kill you in this bathroom. And then if you will push here on side, if they're on heaven or city, they're most likely easy kills. They can kill you only for close range. So if they would have vandals, all that stuff, as you can see, they're on close range. Yeah, they wouldn't pick you most likely from heaven. He wouldn't pick you from city. And even if you have an adventure with the gun, they were kind of close, and he get and he get these kills. Here, small thing, but also Raze is putting the robot. Make the like robot is this robot is so far away from you. The robot will not kill you at all. That's that's nine ninety nine percent that this robot will not kill you. Shoot with the first burst burst towards the robot. Insta insta mega flick towards the enemy head because if he if she would she would pick you with operator you could die because you have to make this stupid adjustment. Just this shoot to the robot insta flick towards the head. Shoot to the robot insta flick towards the head. Always when you are destroying the the race robot, the robot was super far away from you. There is ninety nine percent. That the robot will not kill you at all. So no point to destroy it so fast. You can just try to bait, shoot to the robot, insta flick towards the enemy head. The same is with Sage Wall. Sage is putting the wall, go for full auto towards the the wall, then insta flick with the full auto towards the place that Sage can pick you because Sage loves to peek above the uh, from from the from the from the wall. Okay, good kill. Good kill. I'm not a big fan of to be fair. Uh, when I'm playing I'm playing here with the with the plant which this is kind of standard one. I'm not a big fan of uh, picking uh, picking heaven when the bomb is planted because look. You got this kill and right now Sage is uh, planting the bomb. You have two people uh on the bathroom so if they will be destroying the wall, they can easily kill them from behind or whatever. Bomb is here, so the guy from heaven, if, even if there is a guy, he has to come to you. Most likely if there is a guy coming to heaven, she, he has some strong weapon like operator or vandal, so he's able to kill you uh, with a one shot. In this situation you have a phantom, so the enemy for sure has an advantage, whatever uh, gun, if, if he has like more than 10 IQ, he has an advantage because he will not, he shouldn't go there with a phantom. Then your race is already carpet. So if someone would like to actually watch there, I would say that should be uh, that should be race. But at this point, I just don't feel any reason of watching it. The only reason to watch it is to grab a kill. Because right now, if you will be killed by this guy, and somehow there is a guy in the lamps, the guy in the lamps is peeking, he's killing uh, I don't know race. Then there is a wall, so t your teammates cannot help. This guy is killing another guy from the bathroom. Then this guy is killing Sage, and you have two v one. Uh, versus uh, 1v2 versus uh, instead of having 5v3. Of course, that's the best, uh, the, the worst case scenario that could happen, but of course it could happen. I just don't feel, I never I, I never feel any reason of picking heaven in this situation. This guy has to come so close to you to actually defuse the bomb. Uh, you got the skill this time, that's perfect. Maybe you will get 90% of the time the kill here, and that's okay. But if 10% of the time will lost you some rounds, I feel uh, there is no point to do it, yeah? Uh, here, there, there could be one more guy in the lamps, so I think you should you should still focus on the lamps, and I don't know, then race can pick it or, or whatever else. You have the best angle for the lamps, so I think you should still hold it, kind of. But anyway, very good kills, like, you know, your skills and kills here, you, you know, the way you're picking and your crosshair placement, all the stuff is perfect, yeah? You're holding good position right now. One more time, you have the best angle. To watch there, the best angle. Things cannot see as deeply as you. Sage also cannot watch as deeply as you. Both of your teammates are watching behind, so they cannot see. You are the only guy which can watch deeply lamp. So you should still watch it as long as I don't know. Sage will come here and she will watch there, or things will switch it with you. You know, because the this small moves here to check it. 
There is no point for you, they are not destroying the wall, nothing is happening over there. Phoenix is closer, so he, sh he should check it. Sage is over here, so she can watch there. Because of you checking here, you might be killed easy by, by someone uh, which would pick you correctly from the lamp. So one more time, the same stuff, yeah? There is no point yeah. for you to, want, uh, to, to check this angle to the right. Focus on this one, because you are the only guy right now who can actually watch uh, the lamps as deeply. And if you are watching here, no one is able to refrag you, or no one is able to cover you at all. Small moves, but if you will have a bad timing, you are dead over there. Small thing, like a super small one, but I feel the way you picked here, compared to how you were picking before, was super lazy. I guess it's because of the because of the score, but I, I, like the way you picking here, before you were all the time going close to the corner, yeah, uh, strafing left, content strafing, checking like this. Right now, what you did is just moving moving with W and stopping at the time when you can actually see it. You don't want to do it. I'm pretty sure you know it. I, I'm almost sure it's because of how the score looks like. But if you're doing stuff like this because the score is good and uh, you, you're like feeling too confident, uh, then it might also happen when you will be, I don't know, when you will be tired, when it will not be uh, your day or something, you will not have a good day, you will be tired, or something will happen, or you will be feeling also like, like eight and uh, no, is still a very very risky score because if they will make 8-4 then of course I'm pretty sure at this scenario many times 8-4 then they are playing uh, they're winning pistol round then they are play, uh, winning eco then they are winning your force uh, by then they are playing winning half by and we have 8-8 so 8-0 is not enough score to to be and uh, to be like not motivated enough to to, to pick so to sum up for sure uh, sometimes you're taking unnecessary risk uh, which you shouldn't take, picking uh, picking this window over there, uh, jumping, but that was the because of the score here, the way you picked, the way you picked lamps once, but I hope so, like I said, that's because of the score. I feel like you can use more or uh, more uh, your Molotov, mm, and then and then this smoke, sometimes I feel they're a little bit too, too slow on the bomb side. The way you're throwing them, so you're throwing them deeply is good. You have free smoke. Smoking out shor short be the should be the first thing you're doing, yeah? So one more time, I feel like you're not using the, your, your abilities as much. Both of your teammates are going over there, using your molly here. Uh, at this point, I don't know, smoking out, out short. Just use one smoke, maybe even bathroom, because they might have be, they might play bathroom as well. So smoking out bathroom and smoking out short, and then trying to destroy the wall super fast with two of your teammates pushing lamp. I think that would be the best case scenario because now you should be dead here they are terrible your enemies are terrible you should be dead because of you have to pick with fight with two people instead of the one because this guy should be smoked out so you should be dead mm. now you actually want this round i feel that you should use smoke over there that's for sure that mm, you're going on this ace i was watching because i was trying to understand what is happening but i actually don't understand why why you played like this so you're going on this side Mm, Cypher is there. Cypher is dying. Then you're deciding to smoke only heaven. Why you, you are not smoking city as well? They might also come from city. They will come soon for sure. So smoking out city and uh, and heaven would be a thing. Reno bridge is slowly going inside. This guy is making using mode of using. You taking the orb when there might be even uh, two people. Of course they have to rotate slowly from uh, from C. But if they will rotate faster, I don't. They, I knew. I, I saw their sage. There could be one more guy, maybe B, whatever. They can be on side already and killing your brims, uh, your bridge, yeah? You're kind of watching right side, you don't see left side at all. Things are super far away. You should smoke out city for sure, I think so. Right okay. now you have two, two, you have two smokes, you're smoking here. You're not smoking city one more time, so it's super easy for them to just go outside, especially with one player on side. To be fair, it's most important to, fla to smoke city because you shouldn't even pick heaven in theory. This guy from heaven has to jump down. You will hear that he's jumping down. You, you, could, you can see him. You have an advantage versus a fight with a player which is jumping out from the window, but they don't have an advantage when people are going outside of city, especially if you didn't if you didn't smoke it out, yeah? I'm pretty sure that Breach could easily die over there, but he somehow survived. Then they're smoking out you. That's also about uh, bad stuff that people are doing on A. On B you can go outside of the site if the enemy team doesn't have a wall or even if they have a wall you can easily shoot through the smoke or shoot through the wall whatever. But here on A side if you're going outside of the, outside of the bomb site 
I would not recommend to do it. A is super hard for retake, so if you're going outside, just giving the enemy team some kind of advantage, to be fair. I don't know why Cypher didn't put trap behind you, but it's actually destroying the whole game here. Anyway, it's uh, there is nothing more annoying when, I don't know, Sova using his... Uh, Sova using his... Drone and not checking corners. Okay, what's happening here? The issue here, I feel like, was that... Uh, first of all, there is no traps behind, so you have to check behind. Even if there was no traps, you shouldn't check behind. You have to be the, the guy which is going second on site or third one and actually give the smokes. Because look, if you are trying to throw smokes right now here, if you're trying to throw smokes, I'm pretty sure that it's not part of your tactic to go on site without smokes. So you were thinking about throwing it. So if you want to throw it right now, it's... It's way too late. This smoke should be already here, already CT. This smoke already should be on side, I feel like. So if that's part of your tactic, I think that's terrible. Uh, you shouldn't watch behind. You should be the guy which is going second one, third one on the side. Uh, with the smokes already being there. You're way too far away to actually even be able to, to smoke CT right now. It's, it's It shouldn't backside, happen backside, at all, for backside, sure. Backside, backside. Look, he wants to ult right now, yeah? So I'm pretty sure he's going on side. You should already have prepared smoke for window. Do not let, let enemy team push you when he will be going on side, yeah. So they will not be able to pick you, so you can all focus on going on side. One more smoke on city, and maybe smoke on uh, over there. Do not let this guy kill your Phoenix right after he is going. So you should already have the smokes yeah, prepared in your hand. In let me see if you will do it. Oh, there is a wall, so we don't, we doesn't, we don't need your smokes. That's okay. Oh. Then you smoking. Look, you see, he can pick him. Your smoke is way too, way too late. He's killing him. You just lost Phoenix, uh, Phoenix ultimate with the with the gun. Then this guy is refragging. Two kills. So Sage, Sage kill and uh, and Brimstone kill towards your uh, things shouldn't happen if you would throw smokes for some extra info. Okay. And one more time, that's that's the, I think your team's team default setting or something. One more time, for some reason, you're going the last guy on side. Like, Cypher should be here. Cypher should be the lurker guy. He has the camera to check me. He can check the trap. He can take the trap if he wants to. If you want to go see, you should go with the team on side. I don't know why. Why is that? And you're smoking.